What up, McDaddies? Welcome back to the channel. Your boy's back with another reaction. Today we're reacting to Lost by Mother Fucking Linkin Park. I never thought I would be reacting to Linkin Park in 20. Backstory for you guys: Linkin Park was one of the first, if not the first, band to get me into more, uh, to get me into music in general. To be honest, like with the hip hop, the electronic, the metal, the punk the the good ass fucking singing from chester lincoln park was the band that got me in the music and to be honest it hit me pretty hard when um when chester passed i think it was probably the only celebrity that i actually cried about you know you know however that might sound it really did hit me and i've been like i i would say that chester's passing is what kick-started revitalized my love for metal and got me into metalcore and hardcore and you know it's a it's a bittersweet thing because now i'm now i'm more in love with the genre than ever and only really want to be part of it in some capacity and having this to react to is you know i don't know like it's gonna be bittersweet as well but I, i'm ready for it and i hope you guys hope you guys are ready to watch the reaction as well sorry my obs has been acting up like my camera's like disconnecting so i don't know I'm, I'm, you're gonna be seeing some pauses and cuts along the line or some maybe some freezing if i don't notice that the camera cut don't forget to like and subscribe let's go this is from the meteora sessions an unreleased track and it, it feels like it dude, this animation is incredible Just a scar somewhere down inside of me. Something I cannot repair, even though it will always be. I pretend it isn't there. I'm trapped in yesterday, where the pain is all. This is bringing like I don't know a lot of feelings out. This, I don't know, this is so good. Alright guys, that was Lost by Linkin Park. That was, I don't know, that was, that was a beautiful fucking song, dude. It made me, it, it, it brought a lot of emotions out. It made me feel like I was, 
listening to Meteora for the first time, like it, like it, and it sounds so fresh. Like it sounds like it could have came out yesterday, you know? I guess technically it did, but you know what I mean? Like it does not sound like a 20 year old song. Like Linkin Park was so ahead of the curve. Like, they were literally 20 years ahead of everybody. And I think this, this like shows it. It just, I don't know, getting a little emotional here, but I never thought I'd be hearing a new Chester song in 2023. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the 20th anniversary re-release of Meteora. And like, even after all these years, like Linkin Park still has, still fucking got it, you know, still one of the best bands I've heard. And it's going to be like, no one, no one's ever going to take their place. I think they cemented themselves as one of the most influential artists in music period and just being able to drop a 20 year old song and blow up on the internet go fucking viral is a true testament to the impact that these guys had anyways guys don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you want me to react to next and you guys have a fantastic day